you know, Wayne and I have been married over 20 years and it was finally time to do it. been in separate bands and we've both done uh, solo albums and this is a little different. Neither one of us sing lead, you know, so a, a big part of the process is trying to think of a song that works for a vocalist that we would want to have sing on the recording. Uh, a couple of examples vocally um, on this album are Oh Me of Little Faith. Oh Me of Little Faith can't seem to see my way out of the storm I'm in. Diving waves are crashing. Just as soon as I heard that song, I just knew that we had to record it. And we were so lucky to get uh, the worship pastor from our church, Heath Williams, uh, to sing it. And he's singing three cuts on this record. We love the groove of those uh, somewhat contemporary sounding bluegrass cuts. Nothing but a whole lot of time on my uh, Look at Me Now is a song, gosh, I was a teenager in the 90s, and I thought even as a, a teenager, that would make a great bluegrass song. We had Mickey Harris, who most bluegrass fans are going to know from Rhonda Vincent's fan. Ain't got no worries, ain't got no home, ain't got nobody to call on my own. You want a barn burner, you want a fast song on the record, and that was one that we were familiar with the lost and found and that's not an easy song to phrase vocally at that tempo and he figured out how to make it work like that he's a pro yeah i'll follow the sun it features jamie johnson and it's a beatles uh song and a lot of people may not realize that jamie's great at singing that type of material for tomorrow may rain so i'll follow the sun Wayne came up with the song, it was a Becky Bowler demo, uh, What Kind of Fool Are You? And as soon as Wayne heard that, he loved it, and he had the idea for the recurring riff instrumentally. And we had Grayson Lane sing that, who is just this uh, wonderful talent. And the other cut had been around for a while, Icy Cold. The leaves in the fall would turn bright as gold The winds in the winter would blow icy cold Primarily we are instrumentalists and all three of the instrumentals on the album were written by Wayne and demoed by Wayne. We came up with Riverside is what we called it because the festival you played in Riverside California County. was in Riverside County. Oh, the Fest of Rudy. Yeah. That's just a straight ahead B chord song. And there's a festival that we play, Rudy Fest, every year. And yeah. instead of, and it just, it feels like that festival does. On guitar, we have Cody Kilby, has been a friend uh, for so many years, and he's a wonderful guitar player. Uh, he plays with the Traveling McCurries now. And Jim Van Cleve. It was just so cool. He was one of the first young people I ever met who loved bluegrass. So he's playing all the fiddle. Uh, but Paul Watson is a fabulous bass player and he played electric bass. We also had uh, John Weisberger uh, play on a couple of the tunes. Gosh, Tony. we couldn't have done the record yeah. without Tony Creaseman, especially uh, the instrumentals like Conway and Riverside. This album for Benson is going to be the first Dolby Atmos release for Mountain Home in its entirety. This will be one of the first bluegrass records that um, has ever been released this way. And for people that haven't experienced it yet, I think the easiest way to describe it is it's like being in a movie theater. It's surround sound, it's uh, bluegrass in 3D, and uh, you just feel like uh, it kind of, it can even kind of remind you of a jam session because it's such a live feeling kind of music when you're playing it yourself and almost everybody who loves bluegrass plays it and it's like you're in the middle of it you're in the middle of a circle you're reminded again. Yes, 
but you know this album in a way it, it's uh, it represents our home because that's what we've had all these years and we've never had music together that was co-created and here we are at Mountain Home and we're very thankful to have a home for this record you know I mean oh, it, for it's, sure. it's really um, just a wonderful opportunity for us and have a place for our music as a couple because we've never had that before so we're we're excited that it's with you in Dolby Atmos Can you do what you must do? It's the march of the dying.